Welcome back, Disc Golf fans. My name is Chris German. Along beside me, we have Derek Skoll, and we are Gatekeeper Media, bringing you the 2018 Stafford Open, presented by Innova Disc. This coverage is powered by Millennium Disc. How do you think of uh, front nine there? Which it was actually the back nine. We want to just disclose the that. The front of the back and the back of the front. Yeah, and uh, yeah. I do I do appreciate you putting the Scorpius there behind the Millennium. I'm yeah. sure they appreciate that too. I'm but sure. uh, but as you can see, all the rated players, well over 1,000 for this. So we have, as you probably already know, given the front nine, this is exciting here, folks. So we're here at hole one, pretty straightforward. Uh, it's going to be a slight bend to the right, but very similar to hole 10. Perfect shot. Yeah. I mean, from fish is on fire right now. He's seven down through nine. He's putting together a really good showing. Yeah, he's warmed up. Villa is starting to pick up, too. He had that bogey on the first hole. I was a little scared, but... I think been, he might have been, too. Yeah, so he picked it up real quick, and this is a textbook for him. Nice turnover shot. Yeah, he's going to be straddling a little bit. It's not unobstructed, but we've seen him make more difficult shots. Yeah, I, I have faith in him here. As that looks like the Lunar Quantum Scorp, actually, funny enough. It Folks, is. We're, <laughs> we're going to call it out every time we see it because we, uh, I don't know if you if you folks have been following the Barsby uh, releases, but we did have the, the um, opportunity to film those commercials and hang out with the champ himself. Uh, really great, humble guy of the sport. Um, and those discs rip. Yeah, so a big shout-out to Greg and to Millennium. <laughs> so we have Greg here on, I would say, maybe 45 feet out. He tickles it in. Oh, <laughs> Look yeah. at that. Tickles the chains. Well, I think, uh, you know, us being the gatekeepers of the Rewind. Should we I give think, it to him? I think we might be able to authorize one here. Let's give it to him. We'll rewind that for you. Beautiful shot from Greg there. I mean, he's definitely way outside the circle. If you listen carefully, uh, you hear MJ in the background tell him what that shot looked yeah. like. Because you see him turn away. He's like, oh, that, that splashes yeah, out. Yeah, he's like, oh, I actually made it. <laughs> and yeah, I think that's him right there telling yeah. him. These guys awesome. are having a good time. He's, he's still saying, in disbelief. But yeah, here's Villa with that straddle like we were talking about. Well within his range. Oh, yeah. As long as he commits to it, he's got it on lock. Oh, no. You saw a fish there. He was like, oh. That splash out was so unfortunate. I, I mean, that's the story of our relationship with Villa on camera. <laughs> yeah. Is he'll, he'll have a splash out, unfortunately, and he'll come back and wreck it. So, All right. The rest of the guys here, though, knocking in their birdies. So Andrew Fish continuing that streak now, eight down through ten. Well, Phil, I know that you're about to come out with some fire on hole two, so let's yeah. see what happens. Seriously, so <laughs> Villa taking the par, everyone else taking the birdie here. Still a lot of golf, and it's still pretty tight here. So the lone gray, <laughs> the lone gray. As we're gonna move into hole two, this is gonna be a par four, 509 feet, very technical. So you yeah, kinda... it's, t it's tight and just a bend almost the whole way right. Yeah, if you're landing where this down tree is here, you're in a really good spot uh, for your second shot where you can kind of see the pin and you have a pretty short up shot from there. Uh, probably a forehand maybe. We'll see. I mean, you can basically throw anything you want if you're Andrew Fish. Yeah, and he's going for the roller, and I think he was anticipating it being tough getting past that log, yeah. and he ends up hitting that tree as a, as a result. Yeah, that was a bold throw because for a roller, you need to at least get past that little down log up there or you would hit it. And that's that's a really far distance to, to get the roller going, especially in the woods. And it almost looks like Greg is thinking the same thing, <laughs> but his gets away from him a little more. It makes sense, though. If you get past that on a roller naturally and it flips back up yeah. and kind of goes to the right, you're in a really good spot. I mean, Yeah, because it does open up there. Yeah, I mean, you could almost reach the basket if you get a perfect shot. At least circle's we're, edge. Where Johansson is electing to just really float one over there on an Anheuser carry. And that's a nice little skip over top of those roots, and he finds himself well within the fairway. Yeah, that's a good spot to be, as long as you're getting past that log there. Villa, he is a man on a mission now, uh, knowing what he put up on the first hole. And can he do it? It looks yeah. like he's doing it. He's going to come out and crush. Oh, it's going to basically right to my feet, right to that log. If you're there, I mean, you're crushing it. You can see the pin from there. 
That had to have felt good. Definitely. This fish, you can see he just has that really tough angle. It's kind of sailed on him a little bit. Yeah, dropping the knee. He may have been uh, overcompensating a little bit. Yeah. So he still has a little bit more distance to, to make up. And that was interesting to see Johansson with the forehand. We don't see that that often either, but we can see why these pros have it. Put some right inside the circle. Yeah, that's like a utility belt tool, you know. Yeah, when you need, sometimes you have to do it. Yeah. Yeah, given the shape of the fairway. Greg here, he's going to try to just zing this thing out here. Hopefully it's going to fade from left to right. It might be a spray and pray yeah, kind of look. Yeah. It's hard to tell, but it's probably pretty tight. It did what it needed to do, though. I mean, he cut a lot of that distance off. It's He's, he's not far from the pin there. I would say within 60 feet. Fish here. Wow. Textbook dropping it in, dropping dimes. That is going to be for a tap in par, though. He did have to scramble a little bit there. Because this is Villa's second shot now, by the way. <laughs> so that was an absolute crush. Let's see if he can keep it up. And he does. That's an absolute park. Awesome. Yeah. Good for you, man. Yeah. Congrats, bud. So this, this one is <laughs> tough. <laughs> this Barsby one... sees, uh, sees some obstacles ahead. And you, you know what he's doing, right? He it, should just be spiking. Yeah, man. It's his motto. He's running it. I, whatever angle he was looking for up there, he saw something that we didn't see. <laughs> well, we're, we're all within circles range here, so that means that if you have not already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Please ring that bell. That's going to make sure that you get those notifications because that you, I know that you want to keep up with this. This golf is fire golf right now, folks. You want to keep up with how these folks are shooting throughout the rest. This is round one. We got two more after this. Greg was looking up. I think there there is a hawk here. So there was like a hawk flying around, I think, at this point. Everyone it is the around. course mascot. Yeah. So Villa and MJ, the only ones getting birdies there. Villa doing exactly what we were talking about. He loses a stroke to the card. He's able to gain some back. He just comes out on fire. But Johansson it does meet him there with his own birdie as well. For sure. Looking very good. As we move into hole three, first water hole here. And if you haven't already seen, this hole has been aced by Margaret Sassman. This is from a farther tee, but same shot. You just kind of want to throw a really nice hyzer shot. Yeah, so yeah, if you're familiar with our coverage, uh, head on over to Ulti World. We got ourselves in a little, uh, what do you call it? Could we call it an ace race? Yeah. It's not an ace race, but... <laughs> Uh, I think we're uh, in semifinals or soon to be, maybe. We're, yeah, we've we're in it. That's all I know. Yeah, so, so Margaret that's just had an honor a very there. clean ace. But uh, let's see what Chris has for us. This is gonna hang to the left a little bit. Yeah, his is a little too tight. Oh man. But I would say as long as you're getting past the water and it's hitting gonna be where clean. that hill is, yeah. I mean, you have a clean run. It's just that comfort distance at that point, and it's. I think there's wood chips there, so it's. A manageable run yeah and because of the water hole kind of in the middle like halfway down the fairway it's all like beach sand yeah and so you're not going to have a lot of like runaways from that area mm -hmm. you just don't want to hit high in that tree have it fall onto that mound and then roll into the water yeah so we've seen that a lot well, let's see if Greg, the champ can carry over there this is a little early too Oh, he's he in a, yeah, he's in a better position. He's just shy of pin high. Yeah, that's a good spot. Probably to be. like twenty five feet out. I mean, I wouldn't be complaining. No. <laughs> this fish is gonna run this. Uh he just was a little heavy armed there. Yeah. Just couldn't couldn't get the height on it. So that's gonna be two straight pars in a row for Andrew Fish. So maybe his uh his streak's starting to slow down here. Phillip's looking really good. A little wobble out yeah. of the hand, but still a, a valiant effort. Oh, yeah. It was just, just slightly to the right there. But I think it, without that wobble, he'd have been locked on target. He makes a solid connection with his chains. And he's up in around six, six under as well. This race is getting a little closer. There's just still so much golf to play. MJ is just... And there's a lot of there's a lot of good shooters out on the field too. So like we don't really know what the other people on the cards are shooting right now. Yeah, there's 
because of how the tour was going, there's a lot of touring pros here at the, this A tier here in just South Jersey. <laughs> yeah, we do have to thank the uh, the Delaware Disc Golf Challenge for that one. Yeah. Making it to the NT. So our area had an NT and an A tier back to back. And I think that might be the first time that's ever happened in the Philadelphia area. Yeah. Bill's able to knock in his par. So a couple pars, a couple birdies. Overall, I would say just a very fun and pretty hole to, to play. Yeah, yeah but speaking fan. of pretty holes, this next fairway is one of my favorites. Yeah. It's a very, I want to say it's a majestic looking hole. <laughs> um, our flyby does not quite do it justice because all the all the trees are bare. Yeah. Um, you know, given the timeline that we had for filming this, uh, we did go out a little late to do the fairway layouts, but um, they are here and we will have updated ones for the course to make sure, so make sure to check that out on DG Course Review's website. We'll be updating those as we get them. For sure, as here, I mean, this is a par four, 558. You just kind of want to get something out there to that open space, something straight, nice hyzer shot, whatever you really have in your bag. Um, once you land out there, then as a righty, you should have another hyzer shot into this this mouth here. And for trees. the and for the most part, like this course is very well groomed. Yeah. Um, so even for casual rounds, like you're gonna see it look like this a lot, because yeah. a lot of care goes into it from all the locals. Yeah, so we really want to say thank you to all you folks from uh, South Jersey Disc Golf. You really uh, you make this possible, folks. Yeah, this this course is made with love, and you can see that. And I'm glad we're able to showcase it to everyone out there in the disc golf community absolutely this needs the exposure because it is it is beautiful yeah but once you get out there though see if fish can do it yep he's these are all textbook this is exactly what you want nice little skip up mj's the only one that has a little bit of distance to cover here a little trickier of a shot his looks like it's kind of sailing a little bit on him to the left that's um not an ideal spot to be. No. I mean, it's a long run for Birdie. Mm -hmm. Knowing the rest of the crew all made it through clean and they're in a pretty good spot. But you're really just hoping to throw it in there and get a nice skip. Exactly what Fish is doing right there. Oh, yeah. That's definitely puttable for him. So that's a, yeah, that's a Birdie run for sure. I'd say so. We have the champ looking to probably do the same thing. He's going to keep his a little wider. Hoping that it dumps in a little Ooh. early, and that's that's why you're the champ. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> even better. So Villa, I would say, is one of the best standstill players that I've ever seen. He just throws so well on standstill shots. Yeah, he's able to get a lot of that torque just oh. from that standstill. And uh, you hear him say he hit a dirt clod or something, <laughs> but it, it it killed uh, that shot. It came dead. That's unfortunate there for him. And MJ's running it, just a little light. He's going to have to settle for that par. Villa here, we've seen him make things from this before. Yeah, so we're looking at about a 45-foot. Just a little short and a little low. Fish here, let's see if he can start to come back. He's kind of slowed down a little bit, and he does right there. Absolutely. Beautiful birdie. Played this hole very well. So... We have a couple of tap-ins here, I would say. So during this time, go over to Facebook. Make sure you like us. That's where you'll kind of see, I guess, the hub of what we do. Um, all of our posts, that sort of thing. This bread and butter of our coverage is here on YouTube. But if you just want to kind of see what we do, aside from that, that's where you're going to check us out. And we do have a lot going on. Yeah. Uh, otherwise. You know, we got a we putting got league coming up. Very and, shortly. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Villa with his turbo putt <laughs> for his par. He's six under here. Close race. So Fish and Greg, the only ones getting the birdie. Fish sitting nine under. Greg sitting seven. MJ and Villa sitting at six. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best. Welcome back, folks. 
Thanks. Uh, big old shout out to Millennium Discs. Uh, go ahead and visit their website, golfdisc.com. Uh, they got they got some awesome plastic. I'm a true believer. Me too. And this man uh, is too. Yeah. Uh, he's not throwing one here, though. That looks like it's probably an eagle. But this par five is just, you want to throw just a nice big hyzer shot kind of towards this tree. Uh, you can flirt with OB. There is a chance, but... These pros, they have the distance to get down here, but this is a pretty tough shot. 390-foot hyzer shot is not an easy shot, I would say. No. But, yeah, I mean, ideally you're going to want to have, like, a pretty heavy hyzer that rides that OB line and then have it just dump right before that tree. That's going to put you close to circle's edge. Um, Greg kind of got a little bit of a skip to put him a little outside of edge, but... We're going to see Andrew kind of doing something A little backdoor action. Yeah. That's safe. That's risky, really. Like, try to go backdoor there. Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a ballsy move. Yeah, because you hit that tree too high, and that it kicks you right out into OB. Yeah. So we have MJ following suit. He says he wants a piece of that. This is going to come up a little short, put him right behind that tree, mm. so he's going to have some work to do. Yeah, he's probably going to have to straddle out. for yeah. that. Villa's the last one on the box. Uh, he'll probably do the same thing. He might keep his a little lower, a little more straight. But I would anticipate that. He's got a really good control of being able to keep his. Ooh. Oh, wow. That got pushed right into the air. And that kind of let it keep going to the left a wow. little bit. Oh, Ooh. I was mistaken. It looks like Greg is in the circle, and it looks like Chris is just outside of the circle. And he's going to have the longest putt here. Again, we've seen him make further, so... Come on and bring it, man. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I kept that shot in the editing only because his uh, you kind of see him get ready to run it out. And it was just... That's so yeah, unfortunate. It was, yeah, it was a tough one to, to swallow there. It's just that, that strong side chains for him. He always has those chain outs. Yeah, and they're, yeah, and they're usually like chain out short, like on the front side of the basket. Yeah, like that strong side of it. Looks like we got some... Uh, Friends of Sedgley Woods crew members in the background here are spectating, so shout out to them here in Philadelphia. Fish starting to heat back up again. I said something. <laughs> now he's starting to get get it back in. And MJ gets that straddle putt, so he uh, he was able to capitalize on a pretty tough shot. Yeah, he's here to do business. Well, I'd hope they all are. <laughs> Villa is just a little, little drop in. These chains aren't going to bang themselves. <laughs> so, and Villa the keeping the star frame at bay again. Yeah. Sorry, bud. But, I mean, hole six is probably going to be a crusher for you, right? Yeah. Still, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so still a lot of golf to play. Hole six, another pretty tough par four. Uh, you kind of want to just throw a shot and kind of land down here. I say personally a little more to the left. You can kind of see that gap that we're going through. And we have a really beautiful green here on this mound. Yeah, a lot of work has been done to make this this possible. So uh, Harris Course Design does a really great job of beautifying the courses as well as making them tough but fair. Greg just crushes that. What do you think he was throwing there? Nah, should I shamelessly say it? Yeah. We did say we yeah. were going to call it out, but that's yeah. a serious score, folks. Yeah. He did just come out with a new line for that, so make sure you check out his website, <laughs> uh, even Millennium's website, so you pick one of those up. That's what it's going to do for you. But yeah, this hole, this is one of my favorite holes and the work they put into that green. Um, I do believe that green is dedicated to a fallen member. Is it? I believe so. If anyone's listening in the comments who is local, uh, if you do know who that is or if Adam's listening, uh, who this is, that actual green is donated to that would be great yeah i would love to know that we would love to kind of share share who that is in yeah. memory of um you know that's that's very important to to remember folks that were prominent in the scene yeah bill is doing what he should do yeah he's he's, <laughs> he's flirting with that line and then his his just just does the work for it right in the middle of the fairway and that i mean that's kind of short where, but clean yeah i mean that's kind of where i would want to be it just, yeah, it's foot, just tough. foot of the mound. That's, this is a tough hole to, to film. Yeah, I didn't even know what I was doing up on the green there, yeah. to be completely honest. Well, and then when you're when you're filming the approaches from, like, the bottom of the hill as well, it's it's tough because you, you can't get the angle from that mm. either. 
So MJ hits that tree, unfortunately, as we're going to see Fish take that, I would say, that ultimate type of throw. Yeah, and it does the work that he needs to. Um, it's short. He's going to be kind of pitching up the staircase there. That, it's inside the circle, though. It's just yeah. that's a staircase that you're shooting up. So we'll see <laughs> it does how a lot it, for your line of sight. Yeah, so we'll see how that plays in. As this is Greg's second shot, he got all the way to the mouth. That is a absolute crush. Yeah, now he is more right than probably you'd want to be ideally, but with, uh, I mean, and he parks at second tier as well, so that's pretty awesome. It's a good run. Yeah, I really like the the steps that were added. Um, it used to not be like that. That so. was this season. Yeah, it was for this, I believe. Oh, yeah. All right. That was What beautiful. a birdie. This man is here to do business, and we've seen him do it. Let's go ahead and rewind yeah. that for you. Just beautiful out of the hand. I mean, it's really so clean. clean flight. Yeah. yeah, it's just so clean. Awesome. Perfect shot. And he's here to have fun. He it was it was awesome hanging out with him and just picking his brain about this golf. MJ, he's a again, just stri strictly business, though. He yeah. he had no reaction to that. <laughs> in it to win it. Villa's just inside the circle here. Just a I little, think he oh. hits cage, yeah. right? Yeah. Greg, or I almost said Greg, Andrew's very similar spot. I would just say a little more to the left. Yeah, I don't know whether that's good or bad. Yeah, I don't know. It's tough to tell, but uh, I, I guess it's good. I guess it's a lot better. So Greg, sit, or uh, once again, did it. Andrew's sitting at 11 under now. So Greg's wow. going to be able to knock his in. And uh, folks, if, if you get a chance, head on over to our Patreon account. That is what helps make all of this possible. Um, we are looking to go on tour this season, so every little bit helps. We really want to give you the best coverage we possibly can. So we have another prevention of a star frame here as we're going to move into hole seven, another water hole. So I love this little pond here, able to implement that water. This is, I would say, an ace run hole. Yeah, for sure, especially if you're uh, if you're a righty flick. Yeah, like Greg's probably looking at his chops here. This is looking really good out of the hand. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Parked it. It was it was in danger of being a little short and hitting that wooden wooden. Yeah, uh, I wonder if box. that I wonder if that would have had enough force to kick it back into the water. Well, yeah, we'll luckily never... we do not need to know the <laughs> yeah. answer to that. And Fish is carrying his over. He wants that ace run. Man. Holy cow. Look at that thing float. Wow. Overshot it by a little bit. Let's see if we'll be able to putt back. And so someone of the of that caliber, you know, the up and down shouldn't be a problem at all. Yeah. MJ's is looking pretty good out of the hand. It looks like it's fading a little early. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm not even gonna watch. Yeah. Look, did you see it spinning? Yeah. The amount of spin on that disc. And I would say this is a this is a shot for Villa as well. He really For likes a little, these. like a flip over. Yeah, just a nice real backhand turnover. That one didn't. It did not get the height he needed, though. It's hard to tell if he's how close he is to that edge, but he is in bounds though, so that's good to see. Yeah. You don't want to lose a stroke to the card for for out bounds. No, that's always a bummer. Hmm, that was. That was uncharacteristic. Of, yeah, of I, would, I would say that's probably his first miss putt, really. Yeah, Everything else has just been laid up. And, you know, and the frustration that he is showing is warranted because after having an ace run and then missing, I, I'd be I'd be a little bummed out too. But uh, Villa cleans up this really awesome birdie. Yeah, big shout out to Villa there. Beautiful shot. <laughs> Trouble grabbing, grabbing it out of the basket. So MJ's doing MJ things. He's sitting nine under two. These uh these scores are starting to rack up. These guys are starting to put together some good showings. So I mean, now we have fish preventing the star frame. Yeah. And I don't. I was not expecting to see that one at all. No, the way he's been playing this whole round. I mean, he's sitting eleven under, which I think currently <laughs> he's still is, at is the that top. Yeah, is that, I think that's either tied or already broke the course record of what we're looking at here. Uh, I believe it was one. I think that's the tie. Let's uh, we'll check back in and we'll let you know by the end of this coverage here. So moving to hole 
eight. I would say one of the easier holes here for par four. Very short, very technical though. Kinda yeah, like... it's definitely just a solid bend uh, all the way to the left there. Uh, you got some guardian trees kind of tucked into the front left pocket of where the green is. So Greg here elects to go with a nice hyzer shot. Even though he was a little to the left, you're able to cut a lot of that distance out. He's um, over there shrugging. Yeah, he should be able to at least get up and down now. So MJ could either elect to kind of throw it right up the gut, or you can kind of go with the hyzer shot. He likes to go hyzer. I, I love his confidence where he just walks off the tee without finishing watching. Knowing it's going to go yeah. where he wants it to go. Yeah, that's, that's, the, uh, that's the caliber of play that I'd like to be up to. <laughs> I have to watch because I have to make sure <laughs> I can find my disc. And Chris finds himself in a really Beautiful. ideal spot. He gets this little skip up. Right up to you. He's gonna. He's got some work, but you could see the pin from there. Yeah, I mean that's that's exactly where you want to be. That should be a very easy upshot. Should be able to tap in a birdie. So it's interesting seeing fish at the bottom of the card. We don't see that very often. So he's really been tearing it up this round. And, and that, that did give him the distance he wanted. And it might even be a better look from there. Yeah, you cut a lot of it out. And like we said, if it doesn't matter if you're really to the left here, you're still able to kind of just get up and down. So Greg's kind of doing that right here. Nice uh, skip squeaks shot. in right at circle's edge. And the way these guys have been putting, I mean, I don't see why they can't make that. Uh, MJ bites off a little early. And that's why they have those trees there. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, because they, they picked them. They placed them right there on purpose, right? Yeah. Ooh. That right. was a semi-run. Yeah, that was a nice run from Villa. This fish just took so much distance. He I mean, keeps that's... his a little low, anticipating a skip forward, finding himself pin high. Very easy for him. Very textbook. And we know MJ is going to be running this one. We saw him make one on hole six. This one has a little more obstacle. Kind of has that tree in the way. Ooh. Oh. Cage chain mm. combo off to the left there. So let's see if the champ can get his circle's edge putt. So this is for birdie. Sometimes I like leaving the, the routines of the putt in there. I know people like seeing that sometimes. Oh, and that's a splash out that uh, keeps him from getting that bird. I felt like I needed to be quiet. <laughs> there? Yeah. Yeah, I mean... It... <laughs> so Fish puts up 12 under here. Hot round. Yeah, that is very good. Still with another hole to play. Yeah. Folks, make sure you go over to our Instagram page. That's kind of where you can see all our behind the scenes. You can see some of the behind the scenes of this footage. And I don't know if you like seeing photos. That's the place to see him. <laughs> we got stories, too. Yeah, there we tell are, stories on there. There are stories. Sometimes you get a video, too. Moving to hole nine. Hole nine is a pretty tough par three. Very tight gap there, as you see, and just a lot of trees. So this, I almost feel, is just like a spray and pray type of hole. There's just so many trees in the way. I mean, as soon as you hit that initial gap, you kind of, anything could really happen. I really, I really enjoy when courses, uh, like the design of the courses have been um, made so that your nine basket kind of brings you back to your one basket. Yeah. Uh, and then it gives you kind of like a walkway into where 10 is. So it almost groups it as two, two nines. Mm -hmm. um, so it really kind of opens you up a little bit for like what order you want to play them. Because obviously we did not play one through nine first. Mm -hmm. But it kicked them out right at Tournament Central, which is right where hole one is and kind of where hole 18 Kind of so. The overall design of the course is immaculate and amazing. They utilize the space very well, for sure. It's Greg, beautiful wow. shot. And that's how you do it, folks. Yeah, and you, you chain out on the last hole. You come back there. You make it so you can't chain out. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny though, because that disc of Greg's is actually an eagle with a Michael Jordan stamp on it. And oh, I yeah. and I I put one in one. I was like, oh, Michael Jordan. That's MJ. That's MJ's disc, and then I actually saw MJ throw his upshot from there, and I was like, wait, this is MJ. I got really confused for a minute. It would have been clever if he had that, but 
Yeah, it's like, oh, MJ got the, the MJ disc. Right. It's fish. That was a That, that was, was a, a run. Yeah. yeah, for sure. <laughs> Once again, sometimes, I mean, you can see here, sometimes the greens just aren't that fast when you take those runs, and they can, they'll can they just sit right down for you. Yeah, it makes a very predictive uh, gameplay. That is just a little deep, but Villa wanted it too. Folks, I would say the motto of the day for everyone here is just run it. Yeah. Why not? What's the worst that's going to happen? You're going to have it happen. You miss <laughs> 100% of the shots you don't take. <laughs> Bill is able to clean up a pretty solid round, uh, eight under. He did know at this point he wasn't going to be on lead card. Um, he was like, I'll see you guys round three. So definitely had a chip on his shoulder. But he he does need to he does need to know that he played a really good round. Oh, definitely. Aside from just a couple strokes missed there, he's right up there with Fish, who I believe right here broke the course record. Twelve under through eighteen here. Greg, an amazing eleven under. I mean, those two guys by themselves put together an amazing round. MJ, nine under, and Chris Villa eight under. So it's still anyone's game. Still a lot of golf to play. Yeah, this next graphic here, you're going to see what our next card is going to be. It's exciting. Um, it is exciting. We got some folks that we have not filmed before. Um, so that being Matt Bell and Colton Montgomery. You can just see uh, there's a lot of big names and touring pros in this card. Two California guys and, uh, and a Colorado guy. Yeah, and, uh, shout out to Brian Earhart in there as well. Yeah, so he's up there. If you want more disc golf, make sure to follow along. Hit up next. You're yeah. going to be able to find uh, the rest of this tournament. It's a good one, folks. We're really excited to bring it to you. And thanks for watching. Take care.